What's next? I'm so confused right now and I might as well just let it out on video. I live in Massachusetts, which is highly Democrat, highly liberal, and my family is very Democrat, very liberal. And I had some words on Facebook to say about the um, Joe Biden running for president, his son, um, basically doing some slimy thing and that Joe Biden was involved. It's all Hunter Biden and his Ukraine and Chinese and Russian deals and some kickbacks. And my liberal democratic family said it's all fake news and on and on and I'm being manipulated by um, the Republicans or something like that. But it's not about compassion and understanding. It's not about listening. It's not about looking and studying the information. It's about ignoring it, saying it's fake news. And, you know, the Democrats and the liberals are supposed to be the ones who are much more compassionate and supposed to be listening. But they're usually the most vocal and the most hateful. They're destroying Trump signs and they're saying nasty things like the world's going to end. And, I mean, it's... The president doesn't have as much power as they're projecting upon it. The American government is broken up into three branches for a reason. And I'm very confused at the amount of hate being spewed by people who are supposed to be compassionate liberals. And I just want to present the information as it is and study it as it's presented. Rather than saying, you know, don't be stupid, don't be manipulated, it's fake news, ignore it. And that really questions me. It's like putting it under the rug. And no, don't look at it. It's not, nothing there to see. Well, maybe there's some extrapolation, but there is a computer. There's a lot of data. It was presented to the FBI. The FBI ignored it. There's a lot of information that Trump was railroaded. And the pro my biggest problem is I hate President Trump. I hate Trump. I've always hated him. I found him a slimy scumbag. I don't like the, the Republicans, I don't like the Democrats, I don't like any political party. But by me trying to paint a moderate right in the middle, accepting and wanting to understand the information that's presented, I'm being told by the compassionate liberals that I'm being manipulated and that I'm just a Trump supporter now. And unfortunately, they don't understand that hate brings more hate. Always hate brings more hate. When you are so afraid of something, it, you're not afraid of it. You're afraid of something else that you projected upon it. And that's what bothers me most of all. What do these people who project the most hate, what are they really afraid of? They're not afraid of Trump because anyone who understands the government, how I understand the United States government, how it works. The president was only part of this, you know, the plan. Yes, Trump had some scummy tax deals, but they were all done legally by stuff the Democrats allowed to happen. So yes, Trump did take advantage of tax codes. There's no question about that. But there's nothing about dealing with those tax codes. <laughs> they just want to go out to Trump about how, how, how less tax he paid, but he has accountants and business partners who, who made sure he paid the right amount of tax. Rather than saying, well, Trump didn't pay much taxes, they should say, let's fix this so rich billionaires like the ones who own Google, who own Amazon, who own Facebook, are not allowed to take advantage of the tax codes and pay their fair share. <sighs> See, this is where I'm confused. It's all about projecting as much, oh, they're bad, 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 bad. Not about how can we make a press forward? How can we fix the situation as it's presented? 
because I know for a fact that Trump did not do something without having a big cushion to make sure he did it. Although he paid less taxes, he made sure he did it in a legal way. And he might have manipulated the system, but the system was there to be manipulated by being manipulated by all the billionaires. Again, just me frustrated trying to understand how people accusing me of it being manipulated just want to look at the information and study it and not just look at it face fast as, yeah, it's Republicans, don't ignore it. I mean, Joe Biden has been in government for a very long time and he's gotten away with a lot, I imagine. There's been a lot of information about Joe Biden that's been sketchy, that's been hidden, but it's been accepted because, oh, Joe Biden's a nice guy. But it might be the way he plays things. At least President Trump, you know, is a scumbag. Flat out, he's an ass. But you know that. And the ass who's flat in your face, you know he's an ass. You know what you to deal with. But the guy who acts like a dumbling bolt, dolt, who just, oh, he's a nice guy, he's a sweet guy, he'll do things right. But secretly does some scummy things on the side. And they ignore it because, well, he's a nice guy. He wouldn't do something like that. But the evidence is pretty clear that he did do that. Well, maybe I am being manipulated or maybe I'm crazy. But at least, being a moderate, whatever team loses, I'm pretty happy about it. Although, whatever team wins, I'll never be happy. So, at the end of the day, I'm just going to sit here and watch the American government as it goes. See the bread and circus, the pony show them to take simple information and blow it out of proportion just for more views on news, which is a good thing. I don't watch news. I just get my information from what I consider non-partisan groups. Maybe there is some partisan politics involved, but I know it's not bought out like NBC, CBS, CNN, Fox TV, and all the others. Oh, well. I feel better at least venting. But I would love to hear what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear other people's ideas and maybe get a better perspective of what I'm thinking and seeing. Either way, what's next? <laughs>